But there is only one place to start tonight, and that is with our exclusive interview with Erling Haaland. The Borussia Dortmund striker is expected to leave the club in the summer, with European football's biggest clubs all vying for his signature. Can't wait to get the thoughts of Carve and Darmesh on this one. But Haaland said earlier this month that Dortmund were putting pressure on him to make a decision over his future, but today he explained why he felt he needed to say something. I think uh, I don't really want to say too much about it, uh, but uh, I felt it was time for me to say something. Um, a lot of others were speaking, uh, so uh, so that was it. Uh, and uh, now I I really don't want to say too much more about it. I think uh, said has been said, and uh, we move on. Where do you feel now that you can most improve? I think uh, I can improve on everything. Uh, if you say I'm good finishing, uh, I can uh, improve my finishing a lot and uh, yeah, everything. I can become faster, so I can improve that. I can become stronger, so I can improve that. Uh, but um, if I should improve one thing, that is to uh, don't be injured. Because uh, if I'm not injured, I'll play much more games and I will deliver even better. I, I will guess when, when you choose to go to Dortmund, uh, there is a development club, you develop and check, check, you have done uh, everything, but you must m miss the fans. Tell us just uh, about, about how you must miss the fans to kind of play with them. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't like it. Uh, I've been saying this before. Uh, football, you can see now, uh, now we don't have any fans in the stadium anymore. Uh, and uh, you see in England it's a um, full stadium and uh, if you look on TV uh, you rather put on the, the English game because it's full fans and it's it's more emotions and it's uh, it's more alive the game and uh, it's it's not nice I as I said before I really miss the fans you were in a team of the year by FIFA the best called the uh, congratulations and big honor and be on the stage there I mean interview by the legendary Arsene Wenger and uh, if you were to vote because there's always voting system if you're gonna vote one two three how would you have voted on players Oof, that's a good question it was uh, the last year right uh, I'm, uh, I think you have to say, yeah, you have to say Lewandowski. Uh, he, uh, Lewandowski number one. Yeah, Lewandowski number one. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, and then you have, uh, for me, Benzema has also been amazing. Uh, but also, I mean, Messi is also outstanding. So Benzema and Messi on uh, shared second and uh, third place. I think I have to say. Favorite food. Um. um I love food, so I normally I cannot say one thing, but uh, I really like uh, kebab. I have to say that kebab pizza. Kebab. Yeah, I, really, I love it. So you will sit in your Bugatti with a kebab. No, I will if, not. If in the future. No, I will not. Uh, but uh, that doesn't mean I eat it all the time. I eat it a couple times a year uh, when I'm home in my hometown. Uh, but uh, I almost never eat it, but it's still my favorite food. Favorite drink. Uh, Mm, I think I have to say uh, pina colada. Pina colada? <laughs> really good. Okay, good. I love the answer. The lad likes kebabs and pina coladas. Tell you what, it's got me thinking. I'm going to ask you all where, uh, where he's going to end up at the end of this little chat, actually. Um, Carve, let's start with you. Because Arlen said it's, um, it's been a day you need, felt you needed to speak. Well, it's your turn to speak now. What do you think of all this? Well, look, I think um, he was asked about the comments he made a couple of weeks ago and he didn't really want to talk about them too much because there was quite a reaction when he said what he said. And what he said was that he felt like he was under pressure from Borussia Dortmund to tell them what he wanted to do in the summer. Uh, now, he's in this unique situation where in his contract there's a release clause and he can leave Borussia Dortmund for £64 million this summer. Obviously, he is the best young striker in the world at the moment. Uh, all the top clubs in the world want to sign him. And Borussia Dortmund want to know, what are you going to do next? Because Borussia Dortmund need to make plans as well. Because if Haaland is leaving in the summer, uh, they need to start thinking about replacements. So that is what he was referring to 
in the interview about not wanting to go over what he said a couple of weeks ago because every time he talks about his future uh, there is a lot of interest and uh, people uh, try and speculate about where he's going to end up and what he's going to do next. So I think that is why he was being so guarded when it came to anything to do with transfers during that interview. It was interesting hearing what he had to say. It was great to have that interview uh, with Sky in English as well. I, what, what are you thinking of the summer then, guys? I mean, who, who are going to be the front runners? Like you say, an awful lot of teams are going to be interested. Who's, who's going to be in Carbo the Carbo mentioned £64 million there. That's only going to be the small figure in this deal yeah. because you're talking about agents' fees and you're going to talk about astronomical wages for Erling Haaland. I mean, I've seen estimates that this deal could be worth around £250 million all in. So that's how much you will have to outlay to buy Erling Haaland. He's only 21 years old. His journey so far, Mulder, RB Salzburg and then Borussia Dortmund. You just wonder whether the next move in his career is the final big one or not. But at 21, maybe not. And so is Mina Raiola thinking there's still a couple of big moves left? Now, if he was to go to the Premier League, we've, we've been talking about this before, haven't we? If he goes to the Premier League, how can another club, apart from a Premier League club, get him out of a Premier League club? Because it's very unlikely that a big club like City or, or a United would want to insert any kind of release clause into Erling Haaland's contract. Whereas if he went to a Barcelona or a Real Madrid, then even though they are massive clubs, some say the biggest clubs in the world, financially they could still do another move to the Premier League. And if they, um, Haaland went to one of ha uh, Barcelona or Real Madrid, I don't think they would be averse to maybe putting in a release clause of around 130, 140, 150 million pounds because there's still a chance that a Premier League team can come in for Haaland and buy him for that much money. And then, say, for example, he has three or four years at Barcelona or Real Madrid, then he makes the move to the Premier League. So, of course, there are going to be the biggest Premier League clubs who want Erling Haaland this summer. I just wonder whether Mina Raiola and Erling Haaland have got a different plan for the journey for the rest of his career. Look, I think the latest information we have about Haaland's future is uh, if we had to say where he was going to go today, I think we would say that he will go to Real Madrid. Uh, it looks like Real Madrid are going to get Kylian Mbappe on a free transfer this summer. I think they will try and get Haaland as well. And I think the player himself would want to go and play for Real Madrid. Also bear in mind that Real Madrid have got Karim Benzema, who's done such an excellent job at the club, but he can't go on forever, so he needs to be replaced. And you'd have to say that Haaland would be the perfect long-term replacement for him. Now, if Haaland was to come to the Premier League, if he was to come to England, then as things stand, Manchester City are leading the race for him. We know they're looking for an out-and-out -out striker. Obviously, they tried to get Harry Kane last summer. Uh, they are signing uh, Julian Alvarez from River Plate, but I think he's more a player for the future. So I think they will try and sign him as well. If he is to come to England, I would say Manchester City. But another club I wouldn't discount, and listening to what Erling had to say about Robert Lewandowski being his favourite player last year, I keep being told that if Robert Lewandowski is to leave Bayern Munich this summer and go to PSG, uh, for example, then Bayern Munich would try and sign Haaland uh, from Dortmund. I'm not sure whether they could afford the kind of astronomical numbers that Darmesh just referred to. A lot of people saying Bayern Munich couldn't pay those kind of numbers. But I think they will try. But at the moment, I would say Real Madrid in England, Manchester City, don't discount uh, Bayern Munich. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put you both on the spot. I know you don't like this, but I just think I like doing it, to be honest. So I'm going to do it. And I, I, I'll start to take the pressure off a little bit. We're all going to say where we think Erling Haaland will be playing come the start of next season. What tunnel... Is he going to be running down into what arena and in what shirt? I'll go first. <laughs> he said he liked pina coladas and kebabs. I can tell you right now, the best pina coladas are down the quayside in Newcastle and they also do <laughs> the best kebabs. So I'm saying black and white stripes, St James's Park, 
in the uh, in the Premier League, of course. Um, no, is, it, is, the, is the number nine shirt? It's not available though, is it? Number nine it's shirt. No, no, Callum Wilson's got that. He'll have to he'll have to earn that, mate. Go on. <laughs> but uh, no, listen, everyone's going to be in for him. Who, who do you, genuinely? You guys know know the inside on this. I'm just joking around. Uh, but Carvey but, mentioned it. I would say Real Madrid. Real Madrid for you. I think Carvey? Real Madrid they at the moment. You. But I wouldn't discount Manchester City uh, because of his father's connections yeah. with Manchester City as well, and also. Pep Guardiola, it's difficult to say no to Pep Guardiola if he wants to sign you. And of course, if he was to move to Manchester City, he's guaranteed big, big trophies for a long time. But I just get the sense that could he be a player like Karim Benzema, who never plays in the Premier League? Although Benzema, I think Sir Alex Ferguson tried to sign him at Manchester United. Mm. But could he be a player who doesn't end up ever playing in the Premier League. It makes sense what you were saying about him sort of building a career, maybe go to Spain next, maybe end up in the Premier League after that because he's still so young. You think of the great strikers, R Brazilian Ronaldo, he played, he, he bossed it in Holland, then he did it in Italy, he did it in Spain. You know, he moved around Europe. Uh, you could see Haaland doing but you, the same. You, you talk to a lot of players and players always say, if Real Madrid want to sign you, you can't say no. Yeah. How, how many players have said no to Real Madrid? If they make it clear that they want you, then... It's difficult to say no to a club who've won 13 European Cups. Yeah, OK. Fascinating. Great question from Jan Alkafjortov there. Though. I know you two both got Bugattis as well. I just wanted to know if you ate your kebabs in there as well. <laughs> if I had a Bugatti, I would definitely eat my kebab in the back of it. Exclusive. Sky sauce is on. You don't eat kebabs, do you? <laughs>